Hello. Uh, I've been trying to get exercise, and uh, I used to belong to a fitness center, but uh, couldn't seem to find the time to get there. So lately, I've been using uh, step climbing, and uh, I use a step stool. But uh, I thought it would be interesting to calculate the amount of energy expended when you climb steps. I try to climb 40 flights of steps a day. I don't, don't always <laughs> reach that goal, but let's suppose I could. Um, um, I'm a 165 pound person and I climb uh, 40 flights let's say each flight is 20 steps and each step is 8 inches now you know that may not be typical but uh, you, this shows you how to do the calculation it's a great example of using the factor label method to make it conversions so the first method I used to do this um, calculation was to determine the number of foot-pounds required and convert the results to calories. These are capital calories with a capital C, which is really a kilocalorie. All right, so let's begin. Uh, let's calculate the height. It's 40 flights times 20 steps per flight times 8 inches per step times one foot per every 12 inches, and that's 533 feet. My weight is 165 pounds. So if I take the feet times the pounds, I get 87,900 foot pounds of energy. And if I uh, convert that the foot pounds to calories, there's 0.324 calories per foot pound. I use Wolfram Alpha to make the conversion. Multiplying through, I get 28,500 calories, but that's not nutritional calories. I have to divide by 1,000 to get the uh, nutritional calories, 28.5 calories. It's a lot of effort for 28.5 calories, but it's good for your health. Now, it's true that uh, your body is not 100% efficient, and uh, probably a ballpark figure would be that it's about 25% efficient, so you could probably multiply this by at least four to get the calories that you actually expend in doing this uh, 40 flights of stairs. All right, let's do it another way. I'd like to just quickly show you a better, more rigorous way or um, using uh, SI units. All right, so we have the same problem. 165-pound uh, man climbing 40 flights and uh, each step is eight inches high. So here we're gonna convert the kilograms, the pounds to kilograms, the flights to meters, and determine the energy in joules and then convert to calories. All right, so let's, let's begin. The mass is 165 pounds times 0.4536 kilograms per pound gives you 73.8 kilograms, that's the mass. The height, well, it's 40 flights, 20 steps per flight, 8 inches per step, and I can just convert that directly to meters. There's 1 meter per 39.37 inches. That gives me 163 meters. Now, the formula is MGH for the energy. I take my kilograms <clears throat> times the acceleration due to gravity, 9.80 meters per second squared times 163 meters. The units for that would be kilograms meter squared per second, which is a joule. So it's 119,000 joules. Um, let's convert that to calories, 119 kilojoules and one nutritional calorie, which is a kilocalorie, for every 4.184 kilojoules, 28.4. Basically the same answer I got to just a round off error difference, 28.4 versus 28.5. Nutritional calories. So this is a nice example of using the factor label method, and uh, um, you could do it for your own situation, uh, or have students do it for their own situation. I think it's a nice little problem, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you can use it. So thank you for your attention, and I'll see you next time.